Why do I hiccup? Hiccups are involuntary contractions of the diaphragm, which is the muscle that separates your chest from your abdomen and plays an important role in breathing. A sudden closure of your vocal cords occurs after each contraction, and this leads to the production of the characteristic eek sound. Why do I hiccup? Hiccups can occur as a result a large meal, alcoholic or carbonated beverage consumption or sudden excitement. In some cases, hiccups may be a sign of an underlying medical condition. For most people, a bout of hiccups commonly lasts only a few minutes. It is rare for hiccups to continuously persist for months, but if it does, it can result in weight loss and exhaustion. Hiccuping is a symptom. It may sometimes be accompanied by a slight tightening sensation in your chest, abdomen, or throat. Classification of hiccup, based on timing. A hiccup bout is an episode of hiccups that lasts up to 48 hours. Persistent hiccups continue more than 48 hours, up to one month. Intractable hiccups last longer than one month. Ensure to see your doctor if your hiccups last more than 48 hours or if it is so severe and already affects eating, sleeping or breathing. Prominent Triggers The most common triggers for hiccups that last less than 48 hours include Drinking carbonated beverages Drinking too much alcohol Eating too much Excitement or emotional stress Sudden temperature changes Swallowing air with chewing gum or sucking on candy. Hiccups that last more than 48 hours are called persistent or protracted hiccups. They may be caused by a variety of factors which can be grouped into the following categories. Nerve damage or irritation, CNS disorders or metabolic and drug disorders. Nerve damage or irritation. A cause of long-term hiccups is damage to or irritation of the vagus nerves or phrenic nerves, which serve the diaphragm muscle. Factors that may cause damage or irritation to these nerves include a hair or something else in your ear touching your eardrum, a tumor, cyst, or goiter in your neck, gastroesophageal reflux, GERD, sore throat or laryngitis, central nervous system disorders, a tumor or infection in your central nervous system or damage to your central nervous system as a result of trauma can disrupt your body's normal control of the hiccup reflex. Examples of these CNS disorders or infections include Encephalitis Meningitis Multiple sclerosis Stroke Traumatic brain injury Tumors Psychological problems such as hysteria, shock, fear, and certain mental conditions. Metabolic disorders and drugs. Alcoholism. Anesthesia. Barbiturates. Diabetes. Electrolyte imbalance. Liver disorders. Kidney disease. Medications including chemotherapy, benzodiazepines, type of depressants, corticosteroids, used to treat inflammation, barbiturates, type of depressants, morphine, pain medication, and anesthetics, make you unconscious or relieve pain. Steroids. Tranquilizers. Surgery. Intractable, long-term or chronic hiccups are very uncommon happening in about 1 in 100,000 people. You should see your doctor if you have hiccups that go on for longer than 48 hours. This could be a sign of a health problem. Risk factors. Men are much more likely to develop long-term hiccups than are women. Other factors that may increase your risk of hiccups include Mental or emotional issues, anxiety, stress, and excitement have been associated with some cases of short-term and long-term hiccups. Surgery. Some people develop hiccups after undergoing general anesthesia or after procedures that involve abdominal organs. Complications Prolonged hiccups may interfere with Eating Sleeping 
Speech. Wound healing after surgery. Diagnosis. A neurological exam may be performed during the physical exam by your doctor to check your balance and coordination, muscle strength and tone, reflexes, sight and sense of touch. If your doctor suspects an underlying medical condition may be causing your hiccups, he or she may recommend one or more laboratory tests as samples of your blood may be checked for signs of diabetes, infection, kidney disease, imaging tests. Imaging tests may be able to detect anatomical abnormalities that may be affecting the vagus nerve, phrenic nerve, or diaphragm. Imaging tests may include chest x-ray, computerized tomography, CT, Magnetic Resonance Imaging MRI. Endoscopic Tests These procedures utilize a thin, flexible tube containing a tiny camera, which is passed down your throat to check for problems in your esophagus or windpipe. Treatment for Hiccups Most cases of hiccups go away on their own without medical treatment. If an underlying medical condition is causing your hiccups, treatment of that illness may eliminate the hiccups lifestyle and home remedies although there's no certain or fixed way to stop hiccups if you have a bout of hiccups that lasts longer than a few minutes the following home remedies may provide relief although they are unproven breathe into a paper bag gargle with ice water hold your breath sip cold water alternative medicine when long-term hiccups don't respond to other remedies, alternative treatments, such as hypnosis and acupuncture, may be helpful. Medications All medications used for hiccups can cause side effects, so talk to your doctor about which one may be the best one for you. The following medications may be considered for hiccups that have lasted longer than two days, prolonged or intractable hiccups. Baclofen a muscle relaxant Chlorpromazine a medicine used to treat psychiatric illnesses, prescribed as first-line treatment for chronic hiccups. Haloperidol, a type of tranquilizer. Metaclopramide, used to treat problems in the esophagus and GERD. Others include anticonvulsant drugs such as phenytoin, valproic acid, dipakeni, depakota, gabapentin, Acrylize, Horizant, Neurontin, and Carbamazepine such as Carbitrol, Epitol, Ecotro, Tigretol. Sedatives Pain Medication Stimulants Surgical and Other Procedures If less invasive treatments aren't effective, your doctor may recommend an injection of an anesthetic to block your phrenic nerve to stop hiccups. Another option is to surgically implant a battery-operated device to deliver mild electrical stimulation to your vagus nerve. This procedure is most commonly used to treat epilepsy, but it has also helped control persistent hiccups. Treatment for Hiccups in Babies As in adults, hiccups in newborns, infants, and babies are common and generally of no concern. In babies, if hiccups occur during feeding, Stop feeding until the hiccups go away. Usually, the hiccups will go away in an infant or baby. You may try changing the position of the infant or baby, try to get your baby to burp, or calming him slash her down to cure the hiccups. Sometimes resuming feeding will stop the hiccups. If your baby frequently hiccups during feedings, feed your baby when he or she is already relaxed and is not overly hungry yet.